I want to speak about a very tragic, horrific event that took place many years back, but is significant to black people, in particular foundational black Americans, so I decided to speak on it. It goes to show you how racism, white supremacy, even the healthcare industry, have done experiments on our people for a long time. The Tuskegee experiments, our sister Henrietta Lacks, who they stole her uh, cell to create the HeLa cell. Need I say more? But today we're going to be talking about our good FBA brother, now ancestor, Virtus Hardiman, shown here in this picture. How this particular tragic story was uncovered. He was a kid one day crying in church. When the church members found it to be a little bit strange and out of the norm for our young brother to be crying in church. So they came to console him and get to the bottom of the matter to see just what was taking place. Then Virtus Hardiman removed his hat he'd been wearing and to reveal a massive hole that was on the top of his head. Then he began to tell the story how all this took place. He was born March 9th, 1922 in Lyle Station, Indiana. At this particular time period, racism, white supremacy, and anti-black hate was running rampant. So about five years old, he was at school one day when some people came in claiming to be healthcare workers, but we'll call them white supremacists because we know that's really what they were claiming to be there on behalf of a hospital in the area and that they were talking to the parents and developing new treatments for ringworms. So they picked 10 kids, Virtus was one, to quote unquote treat them of this ringworm. All of the 10 kids that were experimented on were black, you know that. Our brother Virtus said in his own words from a clip I found on YouTube when he was older towards the end of his life that they brought him to a secluded place, put a round beanie on the top of his head and two nurses then stood behind him and pushed a button on the machine. Two flashes on the machine went off, and one of the nurses said, Oh my God, I've given him too much. Insane. These people were never actually nurses at all on the behalf of no hospital. In all actuality, they were government workers doing experiments on black kids. And if you ask me, they've done a lot of experiments on black people throughout the years. Trust and believe, it's way more than what's known about. All of the ten black kids suffer from intense burning of the scalp, nausea, but our brother Virtus suffered the most, and eventually he caught cancer from the big wound and the hole he had on top of his head, and he ended up dying in 2007 from this cancer. His whole life, all the people that knew him wonder why he always wore hats and wigs. When he died, they eventually found out. It was all because he had that massive hole and scarring on the top of his head from them radiation experiments and no good devils ran on him. When our brother Virtus was asked if he was angry about the situation from a reporter at the time, he said in his own words, no, because if you're angry, your heart's not right. R.I.P. to my brother Virtus Hardiman. You know, some of our elders and church folks are maybe too much forgiven if you ask me, but I love our people to heart. But damn that, I'm personally angry for my brother. No good damn government devils doing experiments on black children. This is why some black folks are always leery of going to the hospital still on up until this day. Then some people got the nerve to say, why is reparations needed? Such a silly question. When anybody with common sense in their right mind knows why. But if you're over there on YouTube, a much more graphic picture of what our brother Scout was looking like will be posted up in the thumbnail. I can't post it here on TikTok because the algorithm will suppress the video for doing so. Just my thoughts on the matter. But again, I want to say RIP to my brother, Virtus Hardiman. Rest easy. Peace.